ba 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 Hello, and welcome to the Open University. I'm Randolph Oxhead, Professor of Astrophysics at Christchurch College, Cambridge. This module, we are looking at radio astronomy, and today we will be discussing deep space radio transmissions from the earlier universe. I should mention at this point that we will not be covering in the syllabus the work of CETI, or Communication with Extraterrestrial Intelligence, who have been surveying the sky for a number of years now in um, what some believe to be a fruitless search for transmissions from extraterrestrial intelligence. I should point out here that uh, the near misses in this field have actually come from conventional astronomy. Uh, in the 1967, there was the famous discovery of Jocelyn Bell, who found a, a sequence of highly regular pulses, which it turned out were emissions from the poles of highly magnetised rotating neutron stars, or pulsars. And then, more recently, my own rather embarrassing mistake. Um, I can still recall the excitement of uh, being called to the observatory in the early hours of the morning by my esteemed colleague, uh, Dremel and Schinkerschlenker. Uh, Randy, he said, you've just got to hear the signal. Oh, and the excitement of frantically decoding that signal, or well, the first sequence. Hear this voice. It's crossed the great abyss. It rides the breast of the stars. This was poetry, but it was, of course, the second sequence that made us realise that this was not what it seemed. <coughs> the voices... <coughs> the voices in my head uh, make them stop. The voices... You can make them stop, can't you? Then we realised we were picking up a signal from the room next door. We thought the idiot was conducting a survey of quasars in the Virgo cluster. The twat was beaming, beaming his nervous breakdown directly at the black hole SG35H in the constellation of fucking Sagittarius. Black hole? Oh, 